CRISPR trials have officially begun on humans in the United States. The gene editing trial has two cancer patients so far. Both patients have difficult to treat forms of cancer and both have relapsed after regular treatments failed. With the CRISPR technique, researchers can modify human immune cells so that they become expert cancer killers. CRISPR is a gene editing tool that can cut DNA with great precision, allowing genes to be turned off, new genes to be added, or have their functions changed. But how can researchers treat cancer patients with CRISPR? The human immune system has a remarkable evolutionary adaptation that fights off all manner of invaders. However, in the battle against cancer, it doesn't always fare so well. And one of the reasons is that cancerous cells are particularly good at evading the host's immune system and slamming on the immune system's brakes. In order to treat cancer patients, researchers are using CRISPR to delete two genes in patients' T-cells, which are immune cells, to make them better cancer fighters. One of the genes to be removed makes a checkpoint molecule called PD-1 that cancer cells exploit to put breaks on the immune system. A further edit deletes the receptor that immune cells normally use to sense danger, like germs or sick tissue. An engineered receptor added in its place will instead steer them towards particular tumors. These edits allow the immune cells to more readily attack a tumor, inhibiting the breaks and allowing the cells to fight off the cancer. Once the edits are made in the lab, the patient's cells are infused back into their body. Hopefully, these modified cells will target and destroy cancer cells better than the unaltered counterparts. No information is available about how well the procedure is working in the two patients, but researchers plan to eventually treat 18 patients with various forms of cancer by the end of the trial. This might be the first human CRISPR trial in the United States, but numerous others are already in the works to see if the technology can effectively treat a variety of diseases and disorders. Studies of CRISPR gene editing have been conducted in China targeting cancer and in Germany targeting the blood disorder beta thalassemia. In November 2018, a Chinese doctor named He Zhengkui used CRISPR to edit the genes of twin girls while they were still embryos. Their genomes were edited to prevent the transmission of HIV from an HIV positive parent. While this caused an uproar in the scientific community, how is the Chinese doctor's work any different than the studies currently taking place in the United States? The difference is when CRISPR makes the edit. In He Zhengkui's case, CRISPR was introduced into the genes of an embryo, which will carry the genes throughout life. The clinical studies in the United States make edits to a set of cells that will eventually die and take their CRISPR edits with them. The gene editing technology is so powerful it could be used to wipe out entire species or even design babies with specific characteristics, such as enhanced intelligence or height. After all, who wouldn't want a tall, strong, beautiful child with a high IQ and empathy? To learn more about these so-called designer babies, watch our episode called The Era of Designer Babies. The ethics of CRISPR and gene editing as a whole are still a bit foggy, and there are potential risks we take if the technology finds its way into the wrong hands, but that's the case for everything. What is also true is that the positive medical possibilities with CRISPR are seemingly endless. As these trials continue, those theoretical possibilities come one step closer to being a reality. Yeah.